Swami Satyananda Giri was born on 17 November 1896 in Vikrampur, Bangladesh. His exemplary life is characterized by clarity, simplicity and spirituality. He was a versatile philosopher, singer, composer, poet, social worker and above all a highly developed disciple and master of the Kriya Yoga tradition. His whole life, every breath and every action, was a single manifestation of divine truth. The Path of Renunciation It was a night of torrential rain and lightning sparkled through the chinks in the windows of the humble house, illuminated by the faint light of the wicks of oil lamps. In the bedroom, a mother tried in vain to give birth to her son, with the help of a midwife aunt. The father waited eagerly in the main room of the house, still warmed by the embers of the firewood stove. Silently, he prayed to the tutelary deity for help at that difficult time, he Krishna. Karuna Sindhu, Dina Bandhu, Jagatpathi, Govinda, Raksha Ma'am, Sharana Gattam. Three loud knocks on the door announced an unexpected visit who would be visiting at that time of night. Upon opening the front door, strong wind gusts came through the room to the inside, extinguishing one of the lamps. Amid the darkness of night, the man could see, illuminated by the lightning flashes, the figure of an old sadhu with saffron-colored clothing. A sadhu like this was only seen on the streets of Varanasi, not in Hovra. Although invited to enter the house, Swami refused, because a man of renunciation does not enter the house of a householder. Your wife and son will die if you do not deliver the child in my care, said the Swami. The man thought not to have heard right due to the sound of rain and thunder. What? shouted the man. Your wife and son will die if you do not deliver the child in my care, cried the Swami. Promise me now, at this moment, you will allow your child to follow the path of renunciation when he gets to the appropriate age. Hesitantly and without no other way out, the man agreed and made the promise. As soon as he said, Yes, I promise, from inside the room, the cries of a newborn and women's voices thanking the Lord were heard. When the man turned toward the door, the Swami had disappeared. There was only a trail of a bright cloud of atoms dispersed in the air. Upon reaching 24 years of age, that same child went off to Haridwar looking for his Guru. He was the only disciple of Swami Keshavananda, who initiated him into the order of the Sadhus and into the secrets of Kriya Yoga. He was known as Swami Satyananda. In 1911, he met his master Swami Sri Yukteswar in Calcutta and received the initiation into Kriya Yoga from him. Together with his childhood friend Yogananda he founded an ashram and a boarding school in Rinchi, which later also received Mahatma Gandhi's recognition. Later, at Sri Yukteswar's request, he became the leading Acharya of the Karar Ashram in Puri. In 1940 he retired from running the ashram and led a life as a wandering monk teaching the practical aspect of Kriya Yoga throughout India. After the Mahasamadhi, the last deliberate withdrawal of a realized yogi from his body of his youth friend Paramahamsa Yogananda, he returned to Puri and served as president of the Karar Ashram and the Sevaitan Satsang Mission in Jargram until his own death in 1971. His whole life was dedicated to the path of love and truth. He loved, lived and realized this truth.